to be how this works. Because <clears throat> I've had a kid and there is no way I had any energy to push out the second one. Yeah. yeah. Like, I hear that. What? So, so is it going through the same amount of pain to push out the second one? I think you'd be surprised. If you had to do it, you would. My twins were big. They were eight and seven pounds. They were big, fat, healthy babies. Oh my God, that's not fair. Forty weeks pregnant, and were you on bed rest from like week four? I was, on, I was on quite a bit of bed rest from at least week, well, at least the, the last seven weeks. Like I was, I was sleeping, you know, eighteen hours a day kind of thing. So and how was it? So you push out one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you push out one, and then is it the next one kind of just slide out, or do you have to go through push it all out again? So this happened for me. We pushed that one. And it was a lovely, quiet, lights down, you know, just a few people in the room, very peaceful, mm. all well, and, you know, out he came. But he was bright red and um, and very loud and noisy and awesome. But it was kind of an indication that the second one, there might have been a bit of 22 transfusion. So oh, okay. Time. So then, um, within about three minutes, there were suddenly about 25 people in the room, oh. and two resuscitation units, oh my God. and full lights, and I was up on the bed. And um, you know, with the the um, the doctor was extremely keen to have the baby out, so I was kind of being prepped for a Caesar, while at the same wow. time being told asked if I could push. So that was just pushing for pushing for Australia, basically. Yeah. And then Addy came within fifteen minutes, and he was lily white. So so he had two little blood, and the other guy had too much. And this is why for me it was really important to be in the environment room yeah. because he needed, you know, 12 minutes worth of, he, he didn't breathe for a really long time. The 12 minutes needed resuscitation. What was that like while well, that was happening? Well, again, this is where I just thank God that I had this really, I had Jenny there with me and Alice, two really experienced midwives who were helping me to nurse my first baby and just talking me through it because I think any mum who's ever, you know, been in that situation knows that, um, it's, it's almost impossible to kind of comprehend at the time. Yeah. But I had a, my suspicion was oh, all will be well. And Marty was there with Oscar while he was getting resuscitated. And, and when you heard Oscar cry, yeah. what was that like? It was like, it was the strangest sound because it wasn't a cry, it was more like a little bird chirping. He yeah. just poor little thing. He was all in shock because he'd come out so quickly. Mm. And um, it was divine. It was just divine. And then they got to sleep next to each other on the first night. And then Oscar went and had a few days in special care and then came back up and this is heaven. And did you, when you took them home, did they have them in the same group? 